your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Michael Coates. I want to bring up to speed on our snowpack numbers. Now, things are still looking pretty good here for our side of the state and getting into the uh, Snake Highlands here. We're over 100% for many of our basins, but we've dropped a little bit in the Big Lost and the Little Wood Basin here for central Idaho. We're still holding above 100% for Little Lost and Salmon. We need more snow to keep these numbers above 90% or higher, so we're going to be looking for hopefully some more snowstorms as we head to February. Uh, but this next storm coming in here, it's not going to do much to the snowpack numbers. Just a little bit of snow here for tomorrow, Friday, well, I should say for tomorrow, Friday, and getting into Saturday and Sunday. Already 19 degrees in Idaho Falls, light winds out of the north at 5 miles an hour. Once again, patchy freezing fog in the forecast, and we're going to see this trend continuing here for the early morning hours tomorrow. But we'll shake up the inversion a little bit. We're losing our ridge of high pressure to the southeast, and we're also going to see some warmer air out of the south. That's going to take us back into 30s and 40s for the territory there as we get into Monday and Tuesday. So for tonight on the Vipercast, it's just a bit of snow coming in. There's a weak storm to our northwest, and we're going to get a few passing snow flurries and showers tonight, early Friday morning. Most of the stuff favoring the mountains near the Tetons, National Parks, getting to Island Park. Also, we'll have some passing snow flurries and showers getting around Lemhi County and up around the Clark County Mountains. As we head into Friday afternoon around 5 o'clock, not much moisture happening. Uh, mostly cloudy conditions for our local mountains, partly to mostly cloudy conditions for the Snake River Plain. Again, we'll try to shake off the fog throughout the late morning hours. And then Saturday rolls in with a mainly cloudy forecast. A little bit of snow again coming in close to the upper valley, but uh, Teton County, Idaho, Teton County, Wyoming, Lemhi County, maybe even a bit of Custer County, Fremont County, you could see just a touch of snow coming through. Also, wouldn't be surprised if we got some snow in Clark County, north of Dubois. And then by Saturday afternoon, again, more, most of the snow riding along the Continental Divide, slight chance of snow showers and flurries. Sunday will pull more sunshine with warmer temperatures here, and then there's wet weather getting in late next week. Take a look at the lows tonight. Back around 15 for Idaho Falls, 19 in Pocatello, and we'll be into the upper 20s tonight, for uh, 20, uh, upper 20s tomorrow, excuse me, for Idaho Falls for the high, 34 in Pocatello, and we're going to see 29 for Arco with a low of 9 tonight. 10 in Salmon with a low of 4 for Stanley. Highs into the 30s here for tomorrow. We're going to be very close to the afternoon uh, high, right around freezing there for Salmon at 32, so not bad. 26 in Rexburg, but 29 in Island Park. The inversion will still be in play, where it's going to be warmer in Island Park than in Rexburg and St. Anthony at 24, and lows tonight around 6 for Jackson. 6 also tonight for Afton. Highs around the lower 30s for Soda Springs and the lower 30s for Preston for tomorrow afternoon. 30 in Montpelier in the 8-day forecast. We do have some moisture coming through. Now, we're going to pick up warmer air out of the southwest. That's going to take us to 38 for Monday and 42 for Tuesday. Slight chance of rain coming in here for next week. And then pushing towards next weekend for the big game that weekend. Uh, we're looking at some snow coming in here. So we might be uh, inside as we uh, settle in to watch a little bit of football on TV. Ne not this weekend, but next weekend. This weekend, I think it's going to be a great weekend to get up into the mountains, despite that snow coming through here. Just a slight chance of snow again, with highs into the mid-30s for the Snake River Plain for the next couple of days. In Pocatello, 45 for Sunday. We're going to melt quite a bit of snow in the valley if we still have snow left on our lawns. 30 degrees on Saturday for Rexburg, 35 on Sunday. Again, melting the snow even in Rexburg, with temperatures pushing closer to 40 degrees by the later half of next week. There was scattered rain. Black with 34 for Saturday, 42 on Sunday. Pulled in a few passing clouds here for the weekend. Slight chance of snow in the Snake River Plain, but again, most of it's going to be well to the north and to the east of the valley. Salmon, you do have a slight chance of snow. want to stress slight chance of snow and rain Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with highs into the mid to upper 30s getting into the weekend. We'll carry the mid to upper 30s all throughout next week with some moisture on the move. Jackson, going into the mountains, Island Park, getting into Swan Valley. It's going to be gorgeous. Uh, for tomorrow, we're hitting highs into the upper 20s, and once we break free of the fog, you're going to bring in some sunshine. Then Saturday, mostly cloudy, but just a slight chance of snow, and then it's going to be nice and sunny on Sunday, it looks like, if you want to get outside and play. 34 degrees in Jackson, so even Jackson's getting above freezing here, heading late into the weekend. Be a good weekend for snow machining. I think a good weekend for anything. Skiing, get the little raccoon tan for next Monday. Yeah, huh. everybody comes into work on Monday. We love that. With yeah. those eyes, yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you. When was the last time you saw a police officer out walking his beat? Well, coming up tonight at 10, we're going to tell you about a new program that will get officers walking the streets at least 15 minutes a day in Pocatello. Now, the Museum of Idaho opens its newest exhibit tonight.